In the vast expanse of our lives, there are moments where we are confronted with hurdles that appear insurmountable. It's as if we've been asked to move mountains. Today, we turn to the scriptures, specifically to the book of Mark, chapter 10, verses 26-27, where it says, And they were greatly astonished, saying among themselves, Who then can be saved? But Jesus looked at them and said, With men it is impossible, but not with God, for with God all things are possible. This passage is from the story of the rich young ruler, who was eager to inherit eternal life, but couldn't part with his earthly riches. His perceived impossibility of salvation led the disciples to question, who then can be saved? The response they received from Jesus is profound and forms the crux of our discussion today. It is a testament to the omnipotent nature of our God, his ability to make possible what to us seems utterly impossible. The disciples were astounded. How could anyone be saved if a person who followed all the commandments but found it difficult to let go of his riches was considered to fall short? The impossibility that the disciples saw was seen through the lens of human capability, human power, and human understanding. They did not factor in the power of the Almighty God who transcends the physical, the worldly, and the tangible limitations that we often confine ourselves within. In this context, let's ask ourselves, what impossibility are you facing today? Is it a financial strain, a health issue, a difficult relationship, or perhaps an aspiration that seems too lofty? No matter what it is, remember the words of Jesus, for with God all things are possible. This verse, in essence, is an invitation to trust, an invitation to shift our focus from our limitations to God's limitlessness. We are being called to believe that our circumstances, no matter how seemingly bleak, can be transformed through divine intervention. But it is important to bear in mind that this divine intervention is not akin to a magic trick. God isn't a genie who grants all our wishes. When God says, all things are possible, it doesn't mean we can manipulate God to do whatever we want. Instead, it implies that when our desires align with His will, His divine plan, He can bring forth changes that are beyond human comprehension. Let's refer to Philippians 4.13, where Paul writes, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Here, Paul is not boasting of his power, but acknowledging the divine strength that makes him capable. This verse is an affirmation that when we surrender our desires to God, when we walk in His path, His strength makes the impossible possible. It's time to turn our attention to application. How do we apply these teachings to our everyday lives? The first step is acknowledging our limitations. We must recognize that there are certain things beyond our control, things that we cannot change by our strength alone. Dear Heavenly Father, we humbly come before you today, recognizing our limitations and the reality that there are mountains in our lives that we cannot move on our own. We ask for your divine guidance, your wisdom, and your strength. Help us to always remember that with you, all things are possible. Lord, we ask that you grant us the courage to surrender our struggles to you. When we face financial difficulties, guide us in making wise decisions and strengthen our faith in your provision. When our health becomes a battleground, help us to lean into your healing touch, knowing that you are the ultimate physician. In the realm of relationships where misunderstandings and heartache may reign, guide us to love as you do. Help us to extend grace, exhibit patience, and show kindness even when it is challenging. Through you, we can repair the seemingly irreparable and heal the seemingly unhealable wounds. Father, for those of us chasing dreams that seem unattainable, infuse us with your perseverance. Align our aspirations with your divine purpose. In you, no dream aligned with your will is too grand, no aspiration too lofty. For you are the God of the impossible. We pray for those who are feeling hopeless and defeated. Remind them of your promise, Lord. Encourage them through your word that no situation is beyond your power. In the face of adversity, help us to hold on to hope, knowing that our timeline is not your timeline, and what seems like a delay is not a denial, but possibly divine alignment. 
Even when our faith wavers, steady our hearts, Lord. Help us to remember that even in our doubt, you remain faithful. You are not restricted by our faith, for you are the author and finisher of our faith. We thank you, Lord, for being our rock and our fortress. We praise you for being the God of the impossible. We surrender our fears, our anxieties, our struggles, and our dreams to you. As we continue to dwell in the assurance of God's mighty power and his boundless love, let's consider how we can apply this divine wisdom in our daily walk. Let God be our guide as we venture into the unknown territories of life, our anchor in the midst of stormy waters, our fortress when we are under siege. The essence of trusting in God's power is recognizing that there are no barriers too robust, no walls too high, no obstacles too great when He is by our side. Let His strength become ours, His wisdom our guide. And when the tides of life seem overwhelming, remember His promise in Isaiah 43. 2. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. Now let's consider our own impossibilities, our challenges, and our troubles. Instead of viewing them as insurmountable problems, could we not see them as opportunities for God's power to shine? When we trust God, when we fully depend on Him, our human limitations become the perfect stage for His divine intervention. Let's strive to align our steps, our dreams, our ambitions with God's divine plan, and when these aspirations seem too grand or the path too treacherous, remember Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Take joy in knowing that if your dreams align with God's will, He will guide and support you. We are not solitary wanderers on this journey. God's presence accompanies us in every high and low, every joy and sorrow. When we pass through tumultuous waters or walk amidst burning flames, we won't be drowned or burned. This divine promise gives us the courage to face our adversities, knowing we have an unshakable support. Our journey is a shared one. We all have moments of struggle, despair, and difficulty. Let's reach out to those who are experiencing such moments and extend the assurance that with God, all things are possible. Let's be the carriers of God's love, showing empathy and support to those who need it. Life often presents us with hurdles that seem too high, dreams that seem too far, and troubles that seem too heavy. In these moments, we can easily be consumed by feelings of defeat and despair. But take heart, for we serve a God who delights in transforming impossibilities into possibilities. God isn't asking us to face these challenges with our strength, but to face them with His. The Almighty God, Creator of heaven and earth, is on our side, and with Him, victory is always within reach. Our dreams, our aspirations, and our goals, no matter how lofty they may seem, are not unreachable when they align with God's will. He is a God who makes ways where there seems to be no way, who opens doors where there seems to be no entrance. When the world says it can't be done, God says, watch me. And so, as we set out on the path to our dreams, let's not look to our capabilities, but look to God's. His power, His wisdom, His guidance will make the impossible possible. Let's not forget we are not alone in this journey. Our God is an ever-present help in times of trouble, a refuge and strength. He walks with us through every storm, carries us over every mountain, and guides us through every valley. His promises stand firm, and His love remains steadfast. He has assured us in Isaiah 41, 10. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. This divine promise is our anchor, our fortress, our hope amidst life's impossibilities. Every hurdle we overcome, every challenge we conquer through God's strength becomes a testimony of His power and faithfulness. Our lives become beacons of hope, shining lights in a world often clouded by despair. Let's live out our faith in such a way that others may witness God's transformative power through us and be inspired to trust in Him. As we bring our time together to a close, let's carry with us the profound truth that with God all things are possible. Our God is a God of impossibilities, a God who turns the tables, a God who surpasses our understanding 
In Him we find our strength, our hope, and our victory. As we face life's challenges, let's not be disheartened by what appears to be impossible, but be encouraged, knowing that our God specializes in making the impossible possible. Thanks for sharing your time with us today. If you enjoyed this prayer, please subscribe for new morning prayers each day, providing you with the perfect start to your mornings. Wishing you all a day full of blessings.